Hello again, everybody. Welcome to GearWire.com series of educational videos on the Cocos Reaper Digital Audio Workstation product. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of different uh, features. First off, the big clock we're going to look at, and we're also going to look at the track controls. First off, let's take a look at the uh, big clock. To use uh, the big clock, you just uh, select View and Show Big Clock. Real easy. So let's find it here. There we go. And, of course, we have a giant, gigantic clock that will uh, increment as the track plays. The window uh, can be uh, sized and moved at will, which is nice. The uh, You can also press Alt-C to toggle on and off the display of the big clock. So, let's, yes, there's Alt-C right there. And then, of course, we'll clearly display the current position of the edit cursor. That's what that's the actual value that's present in the big clock. Also, right-clicking over the big clock will give you some uh, more features. You can tell it to be docked in the docker if you want. You can undock it. You can use the uh, set the uh, ruler uh, time unit. Uh, excuse me. Rather, you can set the time unit that the clock re represents by. Uh, either uh, selecting what the ruler has been set at here, or you can pick seconds, samples, hours, minutes, etc., or just close the big clock. Let's close up the... There we go. Now let's take a look at track controls. If you play this project... Excuse me. If you play this project, you can see that uh, exactly the same sound is coming out of both speakers, and that different instruments and vocals are all competing with, the, with each other for the same acoustic space. Now the reason this is is because no adjustments have been made to the volume or pan controls for these tracks. The larger fader uh, to the left here is used to adjust the track's volume. The smaller one to the right is used to adjust the track's panning. And that of course sends some of the signal more to the left or the right speaker as preferred. And to adjust these or any other faders in Reaper, you can use any of the following methods. You can click and hold down the left mouse button over the fader and then drag in the direction that you're looking to go, releasing the mouse when you're finished. Or you could hover your mouse over the fader and use the scroll wheel simply to adjust the level down and up. This is without clicking and is a little more tactile and kind of fun. You could also click on the fader and then use control down and control up to adjust the level down or up. Now, to check out possible changes or to audition them, you want to hold down the Alt key while dragging the fader with the mouse. When you release the mouse, it will return to its original position. Now, this can be useful if you want to raise the volume momentarily, just to listen to something and then pop it back. So let's give that a try here. I'm going to increase the level of the volume on the vocals. Guardian A. And when I let go right there, uh, it just popped right back to the level that it was at without me having to go hunt it and uh, find the actual value, which is very nice. That's uh, something that you end up uh, doing a lot in a lot of different software. To uh, perform the same operation on more than one track, if you hold down the control key while you click on the track control panel or a track number for each track and then release the control key and then any fader or other movement will be applied to all the selected tracks. So let's give that a try. We'll be playing. Sing Hit control and click. And peace, the angels, we will send thee let's try that again. Let's try that again. Oh, there you go. If you click control and then uh, select extra tracks, that's when the faders will follow each other. So uh, clicking, uh, normally just uh, clicking once down on a track will select a single track, but uh, holding down control and clicking another track will then link these two. So that's a few of the uh, features in the uh, track controls within Reaper. Keep your eyes on GearWire.com in the future for more cool videos on different software. Thanks for watching.